Wilson disease is a rare genetic disorder that causes excess copper to be stored in the body. The disease is progressive, and if left untreated, can cause liver disease, brain damage, and premature death. To understand Wilson disease, it's important to first know the role that copper has in helping the body function. Copper is an essential element that supports the nervous system and immune system and helps make blood cells. Typically, copper is absorbed from the foods we eat. The ATP7B gene provides instructions to produce a transporter protein that moves excess copper out of the liver. Wilson disease is caused by mutations or changes to the ATP7B gene. The transporter protein doesn't function properly, meaning its activity level is low or absent. So excess copper stays in the liver. It builds up and becomes toxic throughout the body. Symptoms typically begin due to liver dysfunction during childhood or teenage years. Signs of advanced liver dysfunction can include chronic fatigue and yellow discoloration of the skin. And a small number of people with the disease will experience severe liver failure. But in some cases, liver disease may progress silently while patients initially develop symptoms from the effects on the brain, such as tremors and difficulty speaking or moving. For some, the effects of Wilson disease can be prevented or treated by lifelong medical treatments that are often given daily to lower copper in the body to non-toxic levels. However, these available treatments aren't effective for everybody, and that's where gene therapy may be able to help. Here to explain how gene therapy can treat Wilson disease is Dr. Michael Shilsky. Gene therapy aims to be a one-time treatment that delivers a working ATP 7B gene into cells that produce working transporter proteins. The goal is to restore proper liver function to remove excess copper. An in vivo gene therapy approach is used, meaning it's delivered directly into the body. This is done via intravenous infusion to target liver cells. Scientists know that viruses are good at getting into cells, so they have learned how to safely use this ability to get into cells as a vector or carrier that delivers the working gene. But don't worry, the viral genes are removed, so only therapeutic genes are delivered. Think of a viral vector as an envelope with a message inside. The harmful letter that could cause disease is taken out of the envelope and replaced with a new gene that has a specific message. Once delivered, the working gene gives instructions to liver cells to make the transporter protein that helps the cells remove excess copper from the body. Doing so aims to prevent, slow, or stop disease progression. But it is unknown whether this treatment can reverse the existing damage. This investigative therapy is currently being researched in clinical trials. Clinical trials are part of a required research process to determine if a treatment is safe and effective. Researchers are optimistic that gene therapy may be an option for some individuals affected by Wilson disease. For more information and resources about gene therapy for Wilson disease, visit patienteducation.asgct.org.